morning facing the sun here but i have a nice background uh, i'm at the flea market here let's see what we find uh, it's about seven in the morning today friday beautiful friday uh, i got uh, i'm going to flea market here i got another one i'm going to after i have a private deal that i'm gonna go uh, pick up as well as soon after this one so i don't know i'm probably gonna be working until about uh, one sourcing um based on where i have to go but i'm excited i got some the private deal is a, is a good one that i'm gonna be picking up um i brought a lot of money so hopefully i can spend it all today stay tuned You go in the weekend all the time. You're gonna get him. Well, you'll tell us. I mean, we know the number though. Oh. So maybe our, our previous like quote wasn't too outrageous. Yeah, Lapo TV. 25. Want to check this one out real quick? Oh, they switched it out. Here's the second gen. Uh, yeah. Okay. Me llevo los dos de estos. En días me dijo. Gracias. Thank you. Los zapatos también. ¿Lo vamos a hacer aquí o no? No, es que quiero echar los cosas más. Oh, más quedadita. Aquí está pura chacharilla ya, mejor la voy a tirar para que la traigo. Ahí estamos los dos. También. Are these anything rough or these are Chinese, no? Yeah, exactly. As cheap as you can get them. Yeah, and even you tell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahí está. Ahí está. Hey guys, so hopefully you just watched some of that sourcing video, some some of that uh, sourcing footage that I did for today. It's a uh, when, sorry, poof, I'm behind. It's Friday, April 16th right now, 2021. So right now I'll just go through all the items I ended up shipping today. I switched to one day shipping like I mentioned yesterday. I didn't like it though, it was pretty tough to get done. So I think I'm gonna switch everything back to two day shipping. Uh, if I have the time, then I'll go ahead and take care of it in the same day in the one day shipping. But at least I give myself that wiggle room because um, I've been sourcing a lot and some days are I, um, it's pretty tight, especially with the stuff I got going on at the, at the property that I was mentioning uh, in one of my earlier videos. But anyways, I'm going to change everything back to one uh, to two day handling time. And if I can ship it out earlier, then I'll ship it out earlier. Uh, but let me just run through these uh, sales that went out today really fast. It's a lot of video game stuff from that video game uh, haul that I uh, got at a yard sale. Um, but uh, a lot of them, I mean, they're still decent sales. Some of them I just listed because it was there and their video games are very easy to list. I mean, there's a title. There's, it's just very simple. You know exactly what it is. Uh, and they have different... Uh, conditions that other items don't have like good very good acceptable um like new whichever so it's a lot easier to handle these so anyways let's go ahead and go through these real quick the first one is uh, silent hail for playstation one i sold that for one dollar plus shipping so if you guys saw that video then you noticed that a lot of the playstation one and playstation two games were wet um uh well i thought they they were all wet but it ended up only being the playstation one playstation two but I still ended up listing them because, um, like I said, it's very easy to list them, I and I had the photos already, so I didn't look. I don't look stuff up before I list it. So as I'm listing, if the listing's pretty much done, it's just gonna stay up. It's gonna sell for dollars, gonna sell for two, three, four, five dollars, and that's fine with me, because uh, the time I, I pretty much get something back for the time I invested into it. So I'm sell for a dollar plus shipping. Next one is a Shining Tears P PS2 game. That one sold for ten dollars plus shipping. So that's a decent one. So this is an interesting, I know um, a lot of you guys know that if a video game has the manuals 
and the case, the art cover and everything, it sells for a lot more. I think I could have got more for this one. It was just the case with the with the game. It sold for five dollars plus shipping, but the con the disc condition was not that good. It was acceptable. Um, so, anyways, that one sold five dollars plus shipping. The reason I mention is because I sold another the exact same game um, later in the day for a lot more, and that one had a manual in a bit, little better condition uh, for the disc, but it sold like for a lot more. So, right here, next uh, item that sold out is this music. Music Lily Rails Guitar Single Coil. Uh, honestly, I wasn't going to list this because it was kind of hard to find. Uh, but this, like I just mentioned right now, I, once I have the photos, I try to get it and list it and get it posted. This one sold for $9.50 plus shipping. Nothing exciting with that one. And then this next item that sold is the King Innovation Drycon. I, I sold one of these before. I think I talked about it in an earlier video. That one sold for $14.25 plus shipping. The reason there's like $0.50 cents and $0.25 cents in these listings is because I sent out a 5% offer on items and it actually moved a lot of merchandise. So, I mean, even a 5% sale, or not sale, uh, offer, people were still interested in purchasing. So I sent out that offer and I, I moved a lot of merchandise. Like this one, the next one is another one that sold as a 5% uh, off offer. Uh, it's all for $71.25, Fate Electric Company Smart Outdoor Camera, uh, plus shipping. Seventy-one twenty-five for that one. I paid forty, so I mean, I make about twenty-five dollars on that one, uh, which is okay though. It's okay. Like new merchandise that's gonna sell pretty fast. I don't. I don't think this one's been listing for listed for more than a week. I'm okay with it. Another one of those Music Lily rails. This one sold for ten dollars though. So I don't know if you guys have noticed that when eBay, once some items sell for a while or sit for a while, and then when one sells randomly, they all start selling. So I did, that was what must have happened here because I think I have three or four of these. And that one sold for ten dollars for shipping. Another one of those Yi cameras that I mentioned in the earlier video and in an earlier video uh, sold for the five percent off offer for one twenty three fifty. Skull Candy Indie case. I mentioned I had bought a bunch of these little headphone replacement cases for a dollar. Uh, this one sold for fourteen twenty five again with that five percent off um, offer plus shipping. So one into fourteen, very good. <laughs> this is a really good one that sold with that 5% off offer. Nikon Copix B700 camera sold for $427.50. And uh, as you guys know, uh, cameras have a lower final value fee. This one I did pay up for it. I want to say I paid like $300. So I'm not making too much money. Uh, maybe a hundred after everything. Um, but, but hey, sometimes that's what it is. Uh, sometimes you honestly, that's one uh, I was buying something from someone and he didn't want to come down on the other stuff, so I ended up picking this up. So the 100 bucks, pretty much that I make on this one, um, it brings the average cost of the other ones down. If you want to look at it that way. Or you can look at it like I made $100 on this on the sale, which is you know, good too. Next were the Shimano Dura Race pedals. Sold for $220 plus shipping. Uh, Shimano is something that I, a uh, brand that I recently got, uh, that I learned. I didn't, I wasn't familiar with them. Randomly, I picked up some little cleats for like a dollar, two dollars, a little replacement cleats. And they sold for like 20 and they sold like right away and I had bought a bunch of them. I'm like, okay, cool. Shimano, I'll start picking that up. And then I saw some shoes and those sold for like 70 bucks. I'm like, okay, awesome. So now that, anytime I see Shimano, I go ahead and, uh, pick it up if I can. Next item that sold is this Okami Black Label version complete uh, video game for the PS2, ten dollars plus shipping. One of those manuals, like I put on my Instagram post, uh, that I paid two dollars each for these, and they're pretty much all gone now. I have bought a whole bunch of them. I don't know how much. I'll put a post up here for my Instagram on on, on the video. But uh, sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping. And now another loose only uh, game untested, Call of Duty Black Ops Two for five dollars plus shipping. Another video game, $5 plus shipping, Assassin's Creed for the PS3. I think that's the OG one. Another game for the Wii, this one. Uh, NHL 2K11 for $5 plus shipping. Another video game, another one of those. Yeah, I took the photo, so I listed kind of thing. So for $1 plus shipping, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. This one was cool. The guy initially wanted $50 for this thing because he said he had seen it on TV for $200 plus. Uh, I showed him the eBay app. Like, dude, this is not worth much. It was I listed it higher than actually than it was going for. So for thirty dollars for shipping, this Fisher Price teddy bear. But that guy was weird. He was just weird. The way he negotiated was just odd. Uh, it was at a flea market that I don't normally go to because it's like an hour and a half away. Um, I picked up a couple things from him. A bunch of like, I think he's one of those people that, that buys uh, storage units or like uh, 
pallets have used merchandise, stuff like that. Uh, anyways, yeah, a lot of cool things, um, but he was just weird, weird to negotiate with. I uh, ended up coming down from 50 down to $10, so I paid 10 bucks for this one. And like I said, it's all for 30 plus shipping. This little vitamin, GNC, Megaman, healthy something, testosterone. So for 50 bucks plus shipping, that's a good sale. Now the video game, PS3, pins of Prince of Persia for $10 plus shipping for the PS3. This Pit Viper Absolute Freedom uh, Polarized Sunglasses. I think they're for skiing. Those ones sell for $105 bucks plus shipping. Very good sale. I have a few of those. And this is that video game I was talking about. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. Wii. Sold for $25 plus shipping. This one was complete with the manual and it, the disc was in pretty good condition. So this one sold for $25 plus shipping. The other one sold for $5 plus shipping. Uh, big difference just due to item condition. But I mean, that's expected. And that's it for the orders that went out today. Uh, as of now, right now... It's pretty close to midnight on Friday. Uh, I have only six orders that are available to ship, but it's a couple good ones, actually. A couple more video games. Anyways, I'll talk about these on another video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.